Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder here at Upkeep and today it is release Friday once again. Lots of exciting news to share with you all. We got three big releases. The first one, emailing purchase orders directly from Upkeep. Now turned on, now accessible to all of our Business Plus uh, customers. Two, we preserve asset hierarchy during search. So if you go into the assets page, sign up for our beta and you can now easily search for all of your assets, it preserves that hierarchy so it's way easier to find. And then three, accessible to all of our customers, a brand new people and teams experience. So on our web application, go into the people and teams section. It is a brand new experience. We hope you like it. Please, please give us some feedback. My email is ryan at upkeep.com and I try to listen to every single uh, customer response that I get. So really appreciate it. Go in, check it out. We're always improving upkeep and we'd love to hear what you think. With that, I'm going to pass it over to our product managers to do a deep dive into each one of these. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. Hey, everyone. I hope you've had a great week. I am super excited to share a couple of new features uh, with you this Friday. Uh, the first of which is actually a feature that we, we released in the, the past couple months and are bringing back. This is the ability to uh, email purchase orders from within Upkeep. If you if you followed the journey, you, you may have used this and then noticed that we temporarily disabled it. Well, it's back now and uh, it should works similar to the way it did before. When you go into Upkeep and click email purchase order, if that purchase order is assigned to a vendor uh, and that vendor has an email address, it'll get auto-populated. You can, of course, override that with any email address you choose. Uh, the main difference is, uh, you know, the, the, the email that gets sent is the same email. You'll still get the, 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 the um, PDF sent along with the email. The only difference is that you can only send uh, purchase order emails to one email at a time. Uh, and for the time being, you are limited to uh, being able to send five emails per day. Uh, if you need to be able to send more than that, please let us know. We'd love to hear that feedback. Um, but for, for the time being, uh, after you've sent five emails in one day, the feature will be disabled uh, until, until the following day. All right, uh, next up. In the asset list, on the beta view, I'm really excited to, to let you all know that we now preserve hierarchy when you search this list. So if I search for something like this, vehicle, uh, all of the assets that have vehicle in the name are gonna be returned. And if any of those assets are parents, you'll see this little arrow indicating that I can expand that down and I can see the children of that asset. Uh, even if that, that child does not belong, uh, sort of doesn't meet the search criteria, uh, you'll sort of be able to you know, search through all of your assets uh, and, and then you know, expand the, down, down any hierarchy to see children. Um, and the goal of this is just to make it easier and easier for you guys to search through your assets, uh, you know, search for a parent, find a parent, and then kind of dig deeper and find the children of, of that parent without having to, to play around with filters and, and that kind of thing. Um, again, please let us know what feedback you have about this. Uh, I'm really excited to, to hear uh, what you guys think of the direction uh, and excited to keep sharing more updates in the, the weeks to come. Thanks. Hey everybody, my name is Nate Parsons and I'm one of the product managers here at Upkeep. And today I'm going to be giving you the overview on the new people and teams experience. As you can see on my screen here, we now have a more consistent and matching design and experience with the other modules in the Upkeep application. And with that brings some of the default functionality such as sorting and uh, removing the visibility of some of your columns as well as being able to come in and filter based on potentially looking at a certain type of role um, and whether you want to show or, or, or not show those deactivated users here. And to go in and create a, a person or a record, it still follows that same previous function that you had. And if we wanted to edit somebody, we would come in and be able to edit their view, change some of those detail values, uh, just like you would previously, but all in our new design and uh, components here. And over onto the team side, kind of the same functionality that we have here, a list of those teams, we want to add them out and we can go through and select those users in, uh, in a multiple fashion, adds here and creates those teams right away. Hope this helps. Thank you.